This project, the Emergency Laparotomy Collaborative, is bringing, about bringing teams of hospitals together within their academic health science networks to improve outcomes for patients undergoing emergency general surgery or laparotomy. People really are beginning to understand the value of quality improvement for this type of complex project, which isn't perhaps served very well by randomised controlled trials, and this offers something that hospitals can really work with to try and improve emergency surgical outcomes. The Emergency Laparotomy Collaborative is um, a project which has grown out of the um, uh, original Elbquick uh, project we ran. Uh, it's funded by the Health Foundation uh, and its aim is to improve the care uh, of patients undergoing emergency laparotomy. It's going to be across three academic health science networks involving um, 30 or more hospitals uh, run over a two year period. The Collaborative is a, is a novel uh, project. Uh, working with 30 different hospitals plus. Um, it's a new way of sharing knowledge and learning um, across different hospitals and, and engaging the academic health science networks. So success for me would look like what the patients thought the outcome was. So was care better for the patients and also for the staff involved in delivering patient care. What did the process look like? Was it better? Were they better able to view data and understand where their particular and specific challenges were and better able to use the skills that the collaborative has given them to work on other areas to improve patient care? Firstly, we want to uh, improve the outcomes for patients undergoing emergency laparotomy. And the second thing is we want to leave a, a lasting uh, legacy that, uh, the co that the community we're working with uh, understand quality improvement techniques and can, can use what they're learning in this two-year project for other quality improvement projects they need or dream of in the future. What I'd like to see at the end of two years is processes that have been reliable for some time uh, and so we can we feel from the data and also from, sort of, uh, from talking to the QI leads they feel that this is now an embedded process. Structured audit and quality improvement is the way ahead for so many of the problems uh, that patients are suffering in the NHS and in medicine in general today. We have to be multidisciplinary, we have to be multi-speciality and actually it's the very fact we have to, that we have to bring people together that makes such an incredible success of these projects that can make such a huge difference to mortality and morbidity for an incredibly high risk group of patients. I think AHSNs have a pivotal role to play in the faster spread and adoption of innovation and I firmly count innovation uh, to also mean the spread and adoption of knowledge about quality improvement in care delivery. And so the opportunity to bring three AHSNs together um, to combine uh, their resources and expertise to, um, to be able to, um, to drive forward that agenda is, is a really powerful opportunity. The multidisciplinary team working between doctors and nurses and others in the operating theatre as well as the rest of the organisation will potentially unlock lots of collaborative work that they can do back at base in the next two years on different issues but also going forward for the rest of their careers. When we finish the project hopefully we'll have improved outcomes for emergency surgery but also built skills that then can be passed on to other projects and other teams of people. Mm -hmm.